mga bisita natin para mga SBII ay may tayo ni Agahon ng Tanan. That's a plan of work for magandang umaga. Ito yung lahat. If you have no case, no? Sa kantaan nila, aklan ng Agahon is aklan. It's not aklan. Kasi pagkasimilar naman ng Tagalog sa Kapag. Sa Tagalog. May mga words kami na yung letter L ng Tagalog, pinapalitan lang kaya E. Ay yung aklan, aklan, no? Merong katulad ng sinasabi, lalaki. So, palitan mo yung L ng E. Gaya nga E. So, matik pa ka, no? So, dati itong point, Willis TV. Tapos, ah, Nagiging Willis Day, nagiging ito. 1987, ang National Science nagiging cabinet na siya as cabinet level DOSP, no? Yun ang after Korean administration. So, ayaw ng Korean at the time ng Korean administration pala. So, nagiging cabinet, parang may kasigretary na siya. Tapos, sa Congress, alam niyo ba kung sino ang chairman ng Uh, committee Chairman of Science and Technology. Walang iba kundi ang ating congressman uh, at the time, the congressman Ramon de Gaspi. So, tagalit ko siya, siya the first chairman of the Committee of Science and Technology. So, kung na ngayon, ito yung pamilya sa tayo. So, ito yung pamilya namin, the OST, no? So, meron kami three sectoral planning councils, research, PITO, service institute, collegial institute. So, sila sir, sila sir, dito sila sa service institute, no? Ito sila, no? Science and Technology Information Institute. And dito sila. Kami, dito kami, provincial center. So, meron regional offices, So, dito kami sa provincial sector. So, ganito yung pamilya. So, yung iba, I don't know if you're familiar, pero siguro yung mga sikat ng dito sa amin, yung popular, katulad nito mga people, no, ito, pag-asa, yung mga popular. Pero yung iba, I don't know if you're familiar with other people. Okay? So, of course, uh, ang provincia ng Aklan ay located in the northwest portion of Panay, no? At saka, uh, we consider tourism as one of our major industries kasama po ng agrikultura. Dahil po sa isla ng Buracay, no? Which we are so blessed na meron kami naging sentro ng turismo ang Aklan. So, We consider tourism as one of the major economic growth engines sa provincia dahil it creates, it created job opportunities for our people, no? Nag-generate din siya ng foreign currencies because as of now, may iba't ibang tourists na nagpupunta international sa Buracay. And it also promoted entrepreneurship and market of local industries. So yung mga tao sa Aklan, natuto nang maging entrepreneurs, no? Naging creative sila, nakagawa sila ng mga sarili na negosyo, services para sa turista. And of course, uh, kumikita ang ating mga Aklanos because of the visit or the flux, influx of tourists. Hi, I want to greet all the organizers and the participants of this SNT Forum with workshop and uh, science reporting and um, I hope it's not raining over there in Aklan and um, that today will be a meaningful and memorable day for all of you. Science reporting today is quite challenging as uh, it is challenging always to try to translate a domain into, the lang into a language that a particular market or audience can easily understand. Our problem, the difficulty of communicating science today is compounded by the fact that we are going to be addressing 
a multi-generational audience. Meaning to say that whatever piece of information or, or communication that you produce, you will have to purposively direct it to audience segments which are sometimes or very often completely different one from the other. Today in particular, there is a dominance of this group we call the Millennials. Today, the Millennials in the Philippines constitute 35% of our population, and they constitute 50% of our workforce. Give it 10 years from now, the same group will be comprising 75% of our workforce. So they're a force to reckon with. And um, by the way, this group of people is very curious because they are characterized and been studied and um, especially in the way they, they study and learn, acquire information, communicate with each other, shop, eat, all right, enjoy themselves. They are so techno savvy, okay? So we have to purposively understand their preferences so that we can offer them content that they will utilize content that they will use and share, all right? Like and share is the name of the game today. And so um, by repurposing our content to suit specific audiences and particularly millennials, I hope that we do not forget that we really are bearers of uh, science and technology culture and that uh, we are committed to spread this culture to the wider segment of our society. But I challenge you today, take a look at this particular group we call the Millennials. Benefit from understanding their characteristics, their proclivities, their preferences, and be able to position yourselves by the use of a lot of technology, newer platforms of communication to deliver to them the content that we have. So uh, I wish you all the best in this uh, workshop. Learn as much as you can, make new friends, and remember that we only have a very limited time here together. We should make the most of it. Thank you and good day. So those plants are distributed to the community and every family member, the household, the family, are given responsibility to plant. So some of the children were able to help them during their own classes to help their parents to plant. Sabi naman ko, ng isang university sa Amerika, ang definition ng successful dissemination. Successful daw po, ha? May metrics kayo, na bago na siyo. Successful dissemination of knowledge with a wide range of audiences, including ang scientists. Laging kasama mo yung hindi expert. Kasi, ha? Bakit pa kayo nagsusulat? Ba di ba? Bakit kayo nagre-report? Makasulat lang ba at makareport? At makilala na kayo nagsusulat at nagre-report? Hindi po siguro. Nagsusulat kasi kayo kasi may gusto kayong sabihin. Hindi po ba? Nagsusulat kayo kasi gusto ninyo mabasa kayo at may Sana ganun na yung purpose natin sa buwan. Siguro na ito kasi kung may itindihan ng tao, lalo na yung tungkol sa bagyo, yung tungkol sa lindo, yung tungkol sa dinami, yung tungkol sa paa, sa landslides. Everything there has hands. At may papaliwanan natin yung tatap. So, PR can be a starting point for your own uh, story for your own uh, story na pwede mo i-develop, uh, you can make the PR a reference. And from that, you make your own interviews, make your own uh, research, and you can cite siguro some information you uh, got from the press releases. Uh, I enjoy writing exclusive
exclusive stories that are not uh, being that are not being published or kung napublish pa rin ako I I I look for an angle from that certain story and work on it on my own so that way you can produce a good quality and interesting uh, stories that can uh, uh, arouse the interest of your reader. Basically, I'm a science reporter. That, that's the difference. Actually, the rest of my people are not a reporter, except that I'm focused on the science and technology. And I started with this job uh, again. Thank you. 
the newspaper about Sunday night. Sunday newspaper. Mga tapos siguro kasi sila sa sa mga pero ito yung mga basa na the same time. dapat isa isa. Okay, so yung pinagmadaling mga transmit ang message. Kung yari dito, yari pala yung mga event ayon. Gusto mo kita ko dito sa nation sa Manila.